So yeah, I know I've been out of the video making thing for a little bit now. I've been trying to look for a job. Want to know how that's been going? So, Mr. Smith, you seem like a pretty nice guy, but um, here at this firm we do have a no tattoo policy. And that's like an ongoing thing. It's like not just seasonal. Alright, you, um, uh, everything looks pretty good. Only thing left uh, I'm gonna need you to do is, uh, take a urine screening because here at this facility we are drug free. Mr. Smith, explain to me again exactly what it is that you learned in the fine arts field at the school which you attended. See that trash can over there? I can argue how each piece of trash in that basket is a sophisticated work of art. Pretty cool, huh? How exactly is that relevant to me, my business, or... Actually, how is that relevant in the world at all? Yeah, I know. Have you ever been dismissed from a previous job for something such as theft? Have you ever had trouble uh, getting along and, and working and collaborating with other co-workers? Have you ever failed the drug test? Okay, last question. Mr. Smith, have you ever pled guilty to a felony charge? Define felony. I did happen to notice on your resume that you do have a lot of food experience. You do know this is a five-star fine dining eatery. Just, it wasn't exactly listed on your resume, but where exactly did you get your, um, Fine dining experience at. Uh, make it the, 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 you, it's, it's a little, uh, uh, fine eating establishment. You probably, probably wouldn't, uh, have ever heard of it. You flip burgers at McDonald's, didn't you? No, and I see, that's a common misconception because we don't actually flip the burgers. See, some pretty dope shit. So you press this button, right? Please leave. I know. I'm out. Mr. Smith, my records here show that you recently took part in an intervention program? It was actually more like an educational seminar. No, th this is a rehabilitation program for alcoholics and drug addicts. You're an alcoholic? <laughs> no. A recovering alcoholic, thank you very much. It's, you know, you wouldn't get it. You know, this is, this is this whole 12-step program, this is group I'm involved. You know what? You wouldn't understand it. It's pretty exclusive shit, actually. I'm gonna just get the fuck out. That's why I've been looking for jobs in the food market, because every bitch to the left knows that there's no goddamn art jobs out there. Then, the most commonly asked question I get from society is... Why do you do tattoos? Trust me, I would. But do you understand how difficult it is exactly to become a tattoo artist? And I mean a legitimate tattoo artist. Like, licensed and everything. Like, I mean, if I'm going to do tattoos, I really do want to be a, a professional. Not just some motherfucker who can draw some mediocre Dragon Ball Z characters and charges $20 for a fucking mural piece and just goes gung-ho and starts inking the shit out of motherfuckers. Looks like it got done in a fucking prison cell with a shank and pen ink. Trust me, the, the doctor bill from that staph infection you're gonna get is it, gonna cost way more than it would have for you to have just gotten that tattoo done professionally. So why do you try to keep getting jobs in the food industry? That's another question I never get tired of hearing. Unlike college, the food industry actually gave me a good amount of experience in a field that kind of always requires help. So what, now you're thinking, oh, I guess I didn't learn anything in art school, did I? False. Don't believe the hype, yo. I learned a hell of a lot in art school, and I'm very thankful for my education. But in all seriousness, the only thing that fine arts truly prepares you for is to go further your education with a master's degree and, and teach. But as of right now in my life, I am not in the financial or legal position to do any of that stuff. I mean, if this isn't bad enough, all this shit. I mean, teachers can't have DUIs, can they? Can they? All I really did in school is, you know, just fucking listen to people argue about how sophisticated paint splatters and, and trash can be by changing the context of it, putting it on a fucking gallery wall. Look, I don't give a fuck where the hell you hang it. Paint splatters are fucking paint splatters, and trash is fucking trash. It's lazy. Oh, but do you want to know what the common argument is amongst hipsters? No, because if you change the context, of where it's placed, and the paint splatter is just a position of shapes. No! Shut the fuck up! It's fucking paint splatters on a canvas. And trash on a wall. That's all the fuck 
It is. It doesn't evoke emotions. It doesn't provoke any sort of thought. Scratch that. It does provoke a little bit of emotion. Because it pisses me the fuck off. And I'm sure it all, and I know for a fact, it also pisses off other artists who actually do real fucking work. Oh, and you think I'm wrong? See this little fucker right here? This basically says that my opinion of art holds weight over most other people. There's that and the fact that I'm not conceited enough to think that my ideas are so complex and original that I need to splatter paint all over on a canvas and talk about the fucking meaning of the universe to try to make myself seem smart. Fucking hipsters. Trust me, there's plenty of things I learned in art school. But, um, as for a focused career path, arguing about trash doesn't do me much help. I am a 22-year-old recovering alcoholic with a bachelor's degree in how to argue about trash. Hey, you know, uh, my old job, I was in there the other day, they asked me to come back as a manager. Yeah, I know, they ain't gonna pay me shit for real. Maybe I can sell them some trash they can hang it on their wall. Because <laughs> trash is sophisticated art. <laughs> Fine arts is fucking stupid.